President and I are honored to welcome uh, the quartet principals to the Oval Office. I want to thank you all for coming. I appreciate so very much um, you working with us to move the Israeli-Palestinian issue forward to a peaceful resolution of what has been a long-standing conflict. I am strongly committed to the vision that I outlined on June the 24th. I believe it is in everybody's best interests that there be two states living side by side in peace, and this government will work hard to achieve that. And I want to thank you all for joining us and working toward that important vision. There are some keys to moving forward. All of us must work hard to fight against terror so that a few cannot deny the dreams of the many, that we must encourage the development of Palestinian institutions which are transparent, which promote freedom and democracy, that we must work together to ease the humanitarian situation. There's too many uh, Palestinian moms and dads grieve over the future for their children because of hunger and poverty, lack of health care. I appreciate the fact that the quartet is working on what we call a road map. I view the road map as a part of the vision that I described. It is a way forward. It sets conditions. It's a results-oriented document. It is a way to bring people together so that they share their responsibilities. We're assuming our responsibilities. The people in the neighborhood must assume their responsibilities. All nations uh, must be committed to peace in order for us to achieve peace. Must be committed to the vision of two states side by side in order to achieve the vision of living side by side. The roadmap is not complete yet. But the United States is committed to its completion. We are committed to its implementation in the name of peace. I want to thank you all for coming. We're on our holiday season. It is a season of peace on earth. We confirm that today in this meeting. Kofi. Thank you very much, President. We've had a, a very good meeting uh, this morning. And um, we are very close to finalizing the roadmap and we believe that this is a roadmap that can help bring about the vision of two states, Israel and Palestine, living side by side. It will require sacrifices from both sides and it will demand parallel steps by both states for us to be able to move forward. The Quartet has indicated that this roadmap and the approach of the parties has to be performance driven. They have to perform. But it also has to be hope-driven, and I believe that this uh, vision of two states living in peace and security will be the, the dream that will keep that hope alive. And all of us working with our friends in the region will, uh, will work hard to ensure that we achieve this day within the three-year period that we've set ourselves. And Mr. President, we want to thank you for your support, and I think working together we can all be able to achieve uh, this uh, objective. Our intention is to release uh, the roadmap and give it to the parties as soon as possible. And I think the communique we will be putting out will say clearly what we intend to do next. So I will pause here. Thank you very much. Some of our guests will be speaking. Thank you very much, Mr. President. I'm very really glad that you are so dedicated to the uh, peace process in the Middle East. Uh, your vision of the two states is very important. It's very important for the European Union that uh, the people in the area know they will get two states which have to live quietly, peacefully, side by side. What we are trying to do is to pave the way to the two states. Uh, and that's why we have endorsed this roadmap and worked with this roadmap, because it's a good thing with a vision, but you, know, you must know how to go there. And uh, that is what we have been uh, working at, and it has been a very good cooperation, United States, Russia, United Nations, and European Union. And uh, I think it's very important that Israel knows it will live there forever in security, 
but they can only have that security if they give a political solution to the Palestinians. If the Palestinians know that their day will come, where, where they get the state which make them sure of their future. They both have a future, and we have to help them with the future. Thank you, Mr. President. Igor. Any guys? Thank you for receiving us. <laughs> First thing. Thank you, sir. The second thing, I've, uh, before we had a lot of interest, good documents, but we couldn't implement. Now we have good documents, and the most important thing is to implement. This is our main objective now. Thank, Thank you. Very good. Uh, Sonia, quick question. Your administration concluded yesterday that Saddam Hussein pretty much blew his last chance to come clean on his weapons of mass destruction. Are we now on a path to war? Uh, one thing is for certain. Uh, we will fulfill the terms and conditions of 1441. The world spoke uh, clearly that we expect Mr. Saddam Hussein to disarm. Yesterday's document was not encouraging. We, uh, we expected him to show that he would disarm, and as the Secretary of State said, it's, um, it's a long way from there. And uh, we're serious about keeping the peace. We're serious about uh, working with our friends in the United Nations so that this body ably led by Kofi Annan has got relevance as we go into the 21st century. And uh, yesterday was a disappointing day for those who belong for peace. So I want to thank you all for coming. Thank you all. Thank you.